Hi everybody, this is Murtaza and you're watching one of my videos about refactoring in C Sharp and Visual Studio. In this video, I want to talk about another refactoring that you can do in Visual Studio, which is about encapsulating a field. Now, we all know that we shouldn't expose our fields to the outer space of a, of a class because we do not uh, have any you know validations or control over the data that is being passed to the field so let me create a class very quickly and then I'm gonna put a field here public int age and this is what I need when I create A new object of sample I can easily say sample dot age equals 600 and of course it doesn't make any sense because we cannot find a human being who's 30 who's 600 in order to have a kind of a validation on this age as a pro as a field this is what I'm going to do I'm going to suppose that this field is public or private doesn't uh, make any difference and then I'm gonna go to edit refactor and encapsulate field or control R control E control R control E not only control R and control E you can also press control and period on your keyboard and this brings up a little pop-up uh, which is called quick actions in Visual Studio encapsulate field and use property encapsulate field but still use field I'm gonna talk about these two uh, shortly but let's first choose the first one you see this refactoring converts this public field into a private field and then encapsulates it into a public property and the get part and the set part are written as well also it capitalizes the first letter which is a convention which i have talked about in my course about uh, quality code writing high quality code in c sharp now let me create a method public uh, print age And then I'm gonna say console.writeLine age. And I'm going to delete this. I'm going to suppose this is public. And I'm under control period again. Encapsulate field, but I still use field. In the print age, I'm using this field, right? Age. Now, if I encapsulate this field and use uh, still use field, the method that was referencing this field is still using field, the field, age, but not the property. But if I use the other option, encapsulate field and use property, the reference to the age field is changed in order to reference the property that was created. This is the difference between the two options that are offered by Visual Studio when you want to encapsulate a field into a property. Now, in my property, of course, I can have some sort of validation when I want to put the value in age. For example, I can check uh, for the value and I, I can say that when the value is more than 20 and less than 80, it is valid it is a valid age and I can put it into the field but if it is not in that range I cannot do that this is the validation that we get when we use properties and we don't uh, have this kind of validation when we're using public fields. so this is a best practice in object-oriented programming we prefer properties over public fields and we encapsulate these fields in these properties by the way we call this field a back field and this is a property encapsulating that back field 
So whenever you want to create a property uh, out of a field, uh, you can use the refactoring in C sharp. Go to Edit, Refactor, or just Control R, Control E to encapsulate that field, and then you can update all the references to that property to that uh, field and use the new property or not change it at all. So thank you for watching. This was another video uh, about refactoring in C Sharp. You can of course find my other videos on my uh, YouTube channel, Software Development with Morteza. Thanks for watching.